what we're going to be going over here is a deferred tax liability. Now, what we're talking about with a deferred tax liability, that's where any temporary difference that in reversing itself causes our taxable income to be higher than a financial or book income. And we refer to that here in with a deferred tax liability as a future taxable amount here. So when we're dealing with these here and trying to understand what's going on with the deferred tax liability here, where what you want to do is you want to lay out here your financial accounting income here versus your tax accounting income here. And what we're going to be looking at first off is an expense item here. And let's just say it could be referred to as depreciation. So for our, our example here, we're just going to have be looking at four years here. And we're just going to have a steady amount of income here before any expense reductions here. So I've got that shown here. Now, this is what we're talking about with this timing difference or this temporary difference here. For our financial accounting here, we're not going to have, for the first year here, year X1, we're not going to have any expense a reduction due to let's just say depreciation here but for the next three years here we're going to have a uh, recognize some reduction or expense items here uh, for a financial accounting here for each of those years here now we can move down to our tax accounting here and uh, what we have here we're going to just have the same income here for our example here each year but our expense for let's just say depreciation here which uh, we're just looking at, just throw that out as an example here. For the year X1 here, we're going to recognize our entire depreciation for the next four years here in that first year here. Uh, let's just say it's 190,000. I'm just showing these in thousands here. So just showing 190 here. Now, when we move up to our financial accounting income, you can see we had no, no recognition here in the first year here, but we uh, recognize that uh, that expense here, let's say that depreciation expense here, over the next three years here. And this is uh, what we uh, 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 call a temporary difference where it reverses itself here. So you can see here for the first year here, uh, it had, we had, and for our financial accounting income, we had zero expense here. And we recognize that over the next three years here, that 190,000 here for our, based on our tax accounting here. We recognize our entire expense here in the first year here for our tax accounting here, but zero in the next three years here. So just looking at it uh, by our definition here, this is where our taxable income here uh, would be higher than our uh, our taxable income showing it down here in our tax accounting here is gonna be higher than our book income based on this temporary difference or this timing difference. So just looking, uh, going further here to uh, determine what our tax expense is here. That's for financial accounting, you determine everything in terms of tax expense here. So for looking at year one here, well, we had no reduction in our expense here uh, for uh, this depreciation. So our just total taxable income is what we had here to start with, 400,000. 30% of that, we come up with a tax expense here of 120,000. And then each of the next three years here, we had a reduction of these expense items here. So that reduces our taxable income here. And then 30% of that, I'm just showing the next years here, our tax expense, 103,500, 102,000, and 97,500. Now, let's go down and move to our tax accounting. So you can see what's going on here. For our first year here, uh, we recognize that entire expense here of 190,000. Subtract that from our income that we started with, we're starting income here, so we're gonna come out of taxable income here is 210,000. 30% of that here gives us a tax payable here of 63,000 here for the first year. So for tax accounting, we refer to it as a tax payable. But you can see what ha happens here. We're gonna have a few, what we call this future taxable amount, and it's built into the fact here that we're not gonna be reducing our expenses here for our tax accounting purposes here for the next three years. Whereas for our financial accounting or our book purposes here, we recognize those expenses here. So by not reducing any expenses here, taking them all in the first year for our tax accounting here, uh, we have no expense here and uh, for the next three years here. So our taxable income here uh, doesn't, uh, we don't reduce it by any expense. So we have a taxable income here let's just say is the same as we started with here, 400,000. Now, if you compare it to what for our financial uh, income here, because we have this expense of this timing or this temporary difference here where it reverses itself, we reduce our taxable income and thus reduce our tax expense. So we're just looking at our, again, going over our 
uh, deal here, what we're talking about, we're at a deferred tax liability. You can see what's happening here. Where our taxable income here uh, for our, our financial accounting uh, or book income here is less here than our taxable income here for our tax accounting, only because of that timing difference here on uh, reduce, reducing our expense uh, for our expenses here. So this is what we call a deferred tax liability, a future taxable amount. Whatever the difference is here, we're going to have a future taxable amount when it comes to tax accounting. So we're going to have a higher taxable income here uh, for each of the next three years here because of that timing difference and how we recognize our expense here for tax accounting versus financial or book accounting. So let's go down and let's just look at how we record that here. So uh, what you'd have to set up here are these accounts. You're going to have a deferred tax liability in this case here and then you're going to have some taxes payable here. That's based on our tax accounting uh, figures here and then you're going to have tax expense that's based on our based on our financial financial accounting or our book accounting here. So just looking at uh, taking it off our calculations here for our tax expense here that goes to the income statement financial accounting just go up here take it off here you got tax expense for the first year here whatever you calculated here and what you would do is you would debit your tax expense here for finan for financial accounting by those amounts here 120,000 for the first year uh, next year 103,500 and then we had 102,000 and then 97,005 here for the fourth year here. These are the years here. Now for our tax payable, again just come on, take it off your chart here, your calculations. First year we had 63,000 here and then each of the next years it was 120,000 here because of based on our calculations here. So credit our taxes payable for our tax accounting by those amounts here. 63, 120, 120, 120. Now to determine our deferred tax liability, simply do a comparison here. For our tax expense, uh, we had 120,000 here for the first year here, and our taxes payable we had 63,000. So, a debit tax expense 120,000, credit to our tax payable here is 63,000. So we need a, the difference has to go into another credit amount here for our deferred tax liability account here. We'd have our credit here of uh, 57,000. So our credits of 57,000 here plus our credit of our tax payable here of 63,000 balances with our debit here, our tax expense of 120,000. So just go on and for each of the next years here, just make your comparison between your tax payable here and your tax expense. So you can see our tax expense debit here is less uh, 103,500 versus 120,000 for a payable. So we have to come up with a balancing debit amount here and that goes for deferred tax liability. Debit that here for 16,500. So you see what's happening here. Your deferred tax liability is being reduced by uh, by this reversal here when we're talking about that temporary difference. And then for the next years here, you're going to hear, you see you've got your debits here, your tax expense is less than your credits and your tax payable. Take the difference here and you, there you're going to have to have a debit here to your deferred tax liability. Again, reversing your deferred tax liability. So just going on through your years here, you would have started out with a credit here in your deferred tax liability of 57000 and then it would have been reversed out for each of the next three years here until you come up with a zero balance in your deferred tax liability. So you see what's going on here. Just remember, uh, tax expense on the income statement here, that is based on your financial accounting uh, calculations. And then for your tax pay uh, payable here, uh, again on your balance sheet here, that's based on your tax account on the how you calculated your taxes here for tax accounting and then the deferred tax liability you have to understand that the deferred tax liability anytime you uh, that's where you have a higher taxable income here in later years when it reverses itself here versus the taxable income here uh, higher taxable income here for the tax accounting versus financial accounting here where you have a lower taxable income. Okay, so now let's just go down and let's look, again, let's just refer this here, uh, def uh, discuss this here just by definition. Deferred tax liability, that's where any temporary difference that in reversing itself causes the taxable income to be higher than the financial income. So you can see here, 
uh, when we did our calculations here, our taxable income, that was our tax payable here, uh, for each of the, and when it reversed itself here, you can see the taxable income here was higher than the financial uh, income here for our tax expense. And then you can see the difference between your credits and debits here, tax expense for your tax payable, you have to come up with, in this case, a debit here in those later years here to, for the balancing amount. And that's where we talk about the reversal here. We started out with a credit amount here and a deferred tax liability here of 57000 and then it would have reversed out over the next three years here till we, uh, where we would have got a zero amount in our deferred tax liability. Okay, and now let's just look at, go down here and look at our income tax expense section on the income statement and just look at how it would be uh, reported here. And we're just going to look at year 20X1 or that first year here. So we have our income before taxes, we would have had 400000 here. And then our income tax expense, we would have it broken down in this fashion here. Our current amount, 63000 now that's our tax payable. You see what we got a credit up here in our tax payable here of 63000 And then the deferred portion of our tax expense would have been 57000 That's what we had up here. You can see that deferred tax liability here, 57000 So totaling those here, you're going to come up with a total income tax expense here of 120000 Subtract that here from your income before taxes of 400000 So you're going to have net income here of 280000 So that's how you'd have to state it here in, for your income tax expense uh, on your income statement. Again, we looked at just years 20X1. Okay, so we've taken care of our deferred tax liability here as a uh, expense item here, difference between our financial and our tax accounting. Now let's go up and let's look at it over here, this deferred tax liability in terms of a revenue item here between our financial accounting here and our tax accounting. Now for financial accounting here, again, we'll just use our example here where we had revenue here of $190,000 here. Now, in this case, the revenue of $190,000 was all, rec for financial accounting purposes, it was all recognized in this first year here, uh, year X1 here, but none in the later years here, year X2 and year X3 and year X4. But for our tax accounting purposes, if we go down here and look at it, this revenue earned, and let's just say it's based on cash receipts here, while well, we had none here, zero for the first year here, and then, uh, showing these amounts, 55, 60, and 75,000 here for the next three years here. So you can see what's happening here. Um, and we're going to look at how it affects our taxes here. So we're going to have a temporary difference that reverses itself. We had for our financial accounting, 190,000 here, none in the next three years here. And then for our tax accounting, none in the first, zero in the first year here, but it reverses, 190,000 is reversed out in each of the next three years here for tax accounting purposes. So again, deferred tax liability, and we're gonna look at where we have a higher taxable income. So uh, first year here, our taxable income, 190 plus 400, we come up with 590, and then 30% of that would be our tax expense here of 177,000. Now, if we look, and that's for a financial accounting or our book income here. So, but for our tax accounting purposes, uh, uh, we didn't have any revenue recognized or earned in the first year here, no cash receipts, so all we had was our taxable income here of 400000 But each of the next three years here, we have some revenue earned based on, say, cash receipts here. So that increases our income. You have to add that to our income here before this revenue item here, and that increases our income, which is going to increase our taxes here. So you can see here our taxable income here for our tax accounting is greater than our taxable income here for financial accounting. So just based on our 30% tax rate here, you can see our tax expense, well, would, for our financial accounting, we had 30% uh, here of the 400,000, 120,000 here for each of the next years here, X2 through X4. And then for our taxable income here for our tax accounting purposes here, or let's just take 30% here of our taxable income. So you can see our taxable income for our tax accounting here 
is gr is going to be greater here. We had 400,000 here for each of these three years here for financial accounting. That's going to be here. When we add in what this revenue was earned over the next three years here, we're going to come up with taxable income here for our tax accounting, 450,000 and moving up here, 460, 475 greater than our taxable income here for financial accounting, which increases our tax payable here. So our tax payable, 30% here uh, for each of those years, you can see what I'm showing here. We have a greater tax payable here for tax accounting uh, versus our tax expense here for, for financial accounting. So we have a higher taxable income here because of the timing difference here on this revenue earned. Okay, so that is a deferred tax liability here. So let's just go down and again, we could go down and look at how we'd record it here on these T accounts here. Just put down your tax expense here, debit that here, increase that here based on what we calculated up here. 177,000, 120,000 for next for the first year here, 120,000 for the next three years here, and then our tax payable here. You can see we've taken that off our chart here. So uh, 100, 120,000 first year and then on up here. It moves up, so it's, it's higher here. Our tax payable here is higher than our tax expense here because of this timing difference here. And that's because of the revenue earned. So you can see with revenues, we still have a tax liability here because a future tax liability here. Okay, and then the deferred tax liability here, same as we had here with our expense item. Fifth, only the balancing amount here. Debit 177,000 credit here of 120,000. So we're gonna need a credit amount here, a balancing amount of 57,000. And then each of the next three years here, it reverses itself here. Deferred tax, because of the change here, what we recognize is our taxable income here is higher than our tax expense here on our income statement for our financial uh, accounting purposes. So that is, again, just going over our example here. Um, we've looked at the, the situation here where we had a deferred tax liability uh, based on uh, expense items that, uh, in this case, we'll just throw it out as depreciation, how we recognize that on our financial accounting versus our tax accounting and how we had to, uh, and the timing difference that was involved. And the same, you can come up with a deferred tax liability here with the revenue earned. And we went through that example here where we had uh, revenue recognized in the first year here for financial accounting. That uh, was the total amount of revenue over the next four years that we'd be looking at. And for tax accounting, we didn't recognize any of that revenue in the first year here, but it was spread out over the next three years here. So that drove up our taxable income here. And that is where this temporary difference was reversed here and it is the deferred tax liability because you're paying higher taxable income here in the, f the next three years here that we're looking at here versus financial accounting versus tax accounting. So that'll end our discussion.